Okay, I had a question from a, uh, a friend of mine in Texas, uh, Gordon, who had a question about the, uh, the crimps that I use on the end of the terminals. And uh, so I thought I'd do a, just a quick few second video just to talk about those. Okay, so what we've got here is a, a terminal block and uh, a wire's coming in and a wire's going out. And um, with the multi-core wire, if you just put a wire end inside and tighten up these screws here, you're in danger of actually splaying the wire out. And um, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we have a wire that uh, has not been crimped yet. And so traditionally what we would do is simply give it a twist and put it inside the terminals. The danger is though that the uh, screw terminals, when they press on this, still cause the wire to splay out like that. And what it means is that not all of these cores are actually uh, passing the current through that they should. And sometimes you can lead to um, actually a high resistance in the wire and potentially a hot spot um, that can cause it that, that at best electrical problems or electrical um, integrity issues later. Or you can actually end up with um, a fire risk if you've got enough current going, going through them all. Um, so to avoid that, basically what we do is use a bootlace crimp, which um, we've got a whole box of them here of all sorts of different sizes and we size them according to the smallest bootlace crimp that will fit on our wire. So in this case, I'm going to pick one of these white ones and just see if the end of my wire will fit. And it's a tight fit here. Okay, so that's probably a little bit too tight. I'll go up to the next size, one of these blue ones. What we'll do here is we'll put it into the crimping tool and we'll just squeeze the crimping tool like so. That's now made a permanent rigid connection between the uh, crimp itself and, and the wire. Right, then we simply cut that off. I like just to trim that a little bit so it fits in. Trim that off like that. Now we have a connector on the end of our wire. It's nice and tight and uh, ready to put into a screw terminal. You can pick these up off of eBay. Um, you can get a selection of different sizes. What you see here will last for quite a lot of joints, but I do do a lot of joints. This cost me about 35 Australian dollars for all of these uh, crimps uh, that you see here. Um, there must be oh, several hundred, six or seven hundred crimp here so that's a lot of connections you get out of a box also i've got my rj12 connectors too anyway thanks for watching and uh, bye for now